export and import assets in IICS UI. In IICS, we can export and import assets using the UI and the API method to migrate from one org to another. We must ensure both the source and the target org have the import-export license. Also, the target org must have the required licenses for the assets we want to import. For example, if we want to import a mass ingestion task, the target org must have the mass ingestion task license. We must also have a user account in the source and target org with a role such as admin or a designer with import and export privileges. Now, we will see how to export and import assets from the UI. Log in to the source org and in the application integration service, navigate to the explore tab. We can export a single asset, a group of assets, or all the assets in a project from the data integration service or the application integration service. If we export a project or a folder, the file structure remains intact. Thus, when we import the project or the folder to the target org, we can duplicate the original structure. Here, we'll select a process and from the Actions menu, select Export. In the Export Assets window, observe that all the dependent assets are also listed. If you clear this option, the dependent assets are removed from the assets list. In this case, only the process is exported. Let us retain the default option. We can also change the job name or leave the default name and export the assets. We can check the export status on the My Import Export Logs page. On the export page, we can download the export file. After we download the export file, we can see that along with the process, all the dependent assets are present in the folder. Now, to import this file in the target org, log in to the target org and navigate to the Explore tab and click Import. When we import the assets, IICS creates the source folder if it does not exist in the target org. Select the exported file folder and open it. Here, we can change the job name or retain the default value. We can also decide whether to overwrite the existing assets with the assets in the import list. We'll select the assets that we want to import. In this case, we'll import the entire project. We can change the target project location and select whether we want to publish the application integration assets after import. We can also see the potential results of the import. When we import the assets, a message appears. We can click on the link in the message to see the results of the import. In case of any failures, we can also check the log files to resolve the issues. In this way, we can export and import assets in IICS from the UI.